Egypt's former ruler dying. Not long after Egypt's former ruler Hosni Mubarak gets life behind bars, his health takes a turn for the worse. Plus, a family of five once made six figures. Now they're living off food stamps. I thought for sure that he'd go right back into the corporate world. The new nightmares facing the middle class. And she's already survived breast cancer. Now, an emotional Robin Roberts reveals another health scare. Other news now. Six months ago, we introduced you to a family from suburban New Jersey who has been living a solid middle-class lifestyle, making six figures. Then, in an instant, it was gone. They joined the working poor. Their story has become all too common in America, and our Poppy Harlow went back to see how they're doing now. How dramatic was the decline? Uh, it was almost instantaneous. Unwilling to show their faces, but wanting to share their story, this family went from living on $130,000 a year to just $15,000. The father watched his six-figure telecom job of 20 years go to India. In the white-collar world, for two years or two and a half years that I banged my head against it, doesn't want me back. The unemployment ran out, and the savings. Like The first thing I talked about was food and how we were going to be eating more macaroni and cheese. We wanted to know how the family is doing now. So we came back here to middle class suburban New Jersey six months later to find out. Did you ever think it'd be this long? No. Nope. I thought for sure um, that he'd go right back into the corporate world within a month or two. <laughs> but it's been four long years and they're still barely making it on an $18,000 income. United Way says it takes $60,000 a year for a family of four to get by here. I went from uh, making $10 an hour selling shoes, and now I'm in a janitorial supply company uh, making about $14, $15 an hour. The good news is it's at a small business that's growing. But since they're making a little more... They gave us less food stamps, so that's more out of our paycheck. It's the health insurance for the kids. That's my main concern. Is it so tough, though? Yes. Here's their reality. Unable to sell their house, they stopped paying the mortgage in 2009. They expect to be evicted any day. Their 18-year-old won't be going to college next year. I don't have the money to do it, and I just don't want to get a loan and be in debt for a while. They still rely on the food pantry. Only one box really feeds like maybe two, three people. This is the worst we've ever seen. Morris County's food stamp caseload is up 240% since 2007. Is there a sense of desperation now? Yes. They thought they had the American dream, you know, and suddenly here they are applying for food stamps and Medicaid. Dad wants new leadership and a plan to create jobs. Um, for Mitt, Mitt Romney, yeah. Why? Um, one thing is it changes the current structure. So, you know, anything, get rid of the incumbent and move on to somebody else. But moms had it with politics. They'll never feel it. They'll, they'll be taken care of the rest of their lives. I don't see how they can possibly change things for people if they don't know what it feels like to be in that situation. Through it all, though, perspective. There's a lot of other people who are a lot worse off than we are. And when the family does lose their home, they tell me they're going to stay with friends and family until they can save up enough money to eventually, hopefully, get an apartment. But here's what really stood out to me, Alina. I asked both the mother and the father if they believe that one day they will get back to that level they were at, become middle class once again. Neither of them believe that that is possible at this point. And as you heard, when it comes to politics, they're not sure if new leadership can change the situation for them at all. Alina? Such a sad story. All right, Poppy Harlow, thank you very much for that update.